Hello and welcome to Mojo Grip, Mike here. Today we're checking out some twin turbo props. If you haven't seen my recent video, I made a video recently on single engine turbo props. And as requested today, we're gonna check out some of the really cool twin turbo props in the market. Now keep in mind this list is not specific to A, B, or C. Some of the airplanes that you see on the list are pretty much what you guys suggested. Also, these aircrafts are generally built for commercial purposes. A charter company or a small airliner, that's what you would really need a multi-engine turboprop airplane for. So without further ado, let's check them out. The first airplane on the list is the Saab 340. Now most of you probably don't even know anything about this airplane. This is the first I've ever heard of it as well. Uh, so the Saab 340 was a project by Saab. If you're familiar with Saab, maybe you you bought one of their cars before. Uh, this is a Swedish company and they decided to make an airplane back in the 80s. And so this airplane really was built for commercial purpose, uh, mainly regional transportation and things like that. And the Saab 340 comes with two engine, two GE engines, both turbo props, and you can carry up to 34 passengers uh, in the cabin. Here are the performance stats. Your normal cruise speed, you're looking at 290 miles per hour, and that gives you a range of about 1,100 miles, close to that. And again, this is while carrying 34 people on board. You can fly the airplane up to 25,000 feet. It is a pressurized cabin, and your climb rate is 2,000 feet per minute. Now, here's the bad news. The SAP 340 project was completely shut down back in 98. This was partly due to competition. To scoop one up, if you were to buy one of these today, I honestly would not even know where to begin or to say how much this airplane is worth. Brand new would be six million, around six million dollars and up. So you're in the jet price range for this airplane. And except you're starting your own regional airlines, you have no business purchasing one of these. Next is the Cessna 425. Here goes another short-lived turboprop production airplane. The 425 series was really a built off of the 421C airplane that Cessna powered with piston engines. And so in producing the 425, you now have more power and more beefed up airplane that can carry more people and go faster. Although Cessna only built this airplane for about five years, you still have some of them flying today and this is an airplane you can actually buy as a personal aircraft. This airplane can carry six to eight people and travel at close to 300 miles per hour. You do also have a higher flight ceiling for this airplane. You can fly it up to 33,400 feet. Now you get high up there and you're looking at much faster cruise speed. To buy a used Cessna 425 in the market today, you're looking at close to a million dollars. You can find them anywhere from 700,000 to a million dollars. Next is the Merlin 3. Here's another business aircraft that can be used as a personal aircraft. Pressurized cabin, twin turboprop engines, and this airplane, what makes it stand out is that you can do more. You can travel further and you can travel faster. The Merlin would carry up to nine passengers and cruise at over 300 miles per hour. I mean, the useful load is insane in this airplane. Not only that, you fill those tanks up with only six people on board and you can travel over 2,000 miles. There's a reason why drug dealers used this airplane back in the 80s. If you're in the market for a Merlin, you can pick one up for as low as $250,000. Now let's get into more modern airplanes. The next turboprop plane on the list is the Piaggio Avanti Evo. I hope I did not butch that name. Here's a modern Italian design. Just looking at it, it looks different. You won't find any other design in general aviation that looks like this airplane. First introduced in the 1980s, this is actually one of the few aircraft that's still being produced today. The Piaggio will carry up to 10 people and cruise at over 300 miles per hour. And the best part with this airplane is that you only need one pilot to fly it. It can be used as a business jet or it can be used as a personal aircraft. Those two engines have 850 horsepower each. And with that, you can fly this airplane all the way up to 41,000 feet. It's pretty much a jet and you will pay the price of a jet for this airplane. A brand new Evo, 
close to eight million dollars. Of course, we want an American made airplane, so I introduced the King Air 350i. So this airplane is one of the oldest production aircraft in general aviation, at least here in the US. The King Air was first introduced back in 1972 and this airplane is still in production today. Over the years it's gone through several modifications and alteration but the airplane remains the same, just more powerful. And there's a reason why so many businesses and charter companies still use King Airs. With the 350i, you have two engines with over a thousand horsepower each. And with that, you can carry up to 11 people in true luxury comfort, travel over 300 miles per hour, and go over 2,000 miles. The King Air is not just a staple in American aviation, it's the gold standard. And to purchase one of these aircraft today, you're looking to spend anywhere from five to eight million dollars. Well, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, this is a list suggested by all of my viewers. Thank you so much for contributing. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give a thumbs up. And if this is your first time, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Appreciate all the support. And I'll catch you guys on the next video.